As you guys are probably already aware, people on TikTok are absolutely crazy. And in this story time, it is no different. Today, we have a story time of a crazy TikTok kid who thinks not being fat is fat phobic. You don't need to check your ears. You heard me correctly. Let's jump right in. So we're gonna call the subscriber who submitted today's story, Carter. So in Carter's class, there was a TikTok girl. TikTok, Gen Z, Twitter user, kind of synonymous. But uh, this girl was always on TikTok, and the problem was she got a lot of her mindset and her worldview, and she basically got most of her information from TikTok. Bro, let me just give you a little piece of advice. If you're getting more than 30% of your news slash opinions from random TikTok videos, you may be in trouble. Like, honestly, anything you see on TikTok, assume it's low-key cap, bro. Like, I'm just going to save you guys right with that piece of knowledge, right? So also, the TikTok girl was notorious. This girl was known for always trying to get attention. And the way that she would always try and get attention was by starting fights with other people. And I don't mean physical fights. I mean calling people out for ridiculous stuff, saying that people were being X, Y, or Z for doing something normal. This girl was not shy from going into confrontation over something completely stupid, as she does in today, but she takes it way too far. Not only does she call out the subscriber Carter for being quote-unquote fat phobic for not being fat himself, she literally goes so far to stalk him and attack him at his house or to some degree of that. Yeah, you're not going to want to miss it. So let's jump into when this story really starts, which is one day when Carter and the TikTok girl are both in class. So I think the TikTok girl was just feeling extra bored or just extra wanting to start fights with people on this very day because Carter is sitting there just enjoying himself, kind of just with his friends or enjoying himself as much as he can during the middle of math class. Like, I don't know about you, but those classes are always so difficult to not have my brain explode while listening to. But anyways, right, uh, he's sitting there and he's really minding his own business and uh, Carter is a... I guess a, an athletic-ish individual. He's not some like 600 pound pure muscle can bench press a freaking truck type dude. But you know, I don't know. He plays sports. He enjoys sports. He enjoys the outdoors and grass, which is something that Twitter slash TikTok slash Gen Z people do not. And uh, by the way, I'm also in Gen Z. So only the specific type of Twitter using Gen Zs, if you know what I mean, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, so sure enough, the Gen Z girl decides that today is the day that she is going to pick a fight with Carter. So she sits down. Remember, this is all in the middle of class. So she gets up from her seat and sits down in a seat adjacent to Carter, which just happens to be open. Carter's friends are on the other side of him, and there's just an open seat. He was kind of like sitting on the end of the little group of friends, and no one was sitting next to him. So the TikTok girl took this opportunity to walk up and sit next to him. And Carter legitimately might have spidey senses, bro, because he knew, he freaking knew, dude, that something bad was coming. He knew for a fact that some nonsense was about to come out of this girl's mouth, bro. He already knew. He got, he got the Gen Z TikTok girl's Twitter user spidey senses, bro. So he looks over and she looks at him and she has this I'm upset with you type look on her face. And Carter at that moment was like, bruh, I'm in for something crazy. And for sure he was. So the girl leans over and like, you're being very fat phobic right now. And Carter's like, excuse me, come again? Like you sat down next to me in the middle of class? And the reason why I whispered is because they're whispering to each other because it's the middle of math class, bro. What? So Carter looks at her with this kind of really confused look. Like, I think he raises one of his eyebrows, has a kind of a huh expression on his face. And he just kind of asks, like, he responds, what? And she's like, you're being super fat phobic right now. And actually, like, it's been like that for a while. But I think it's about time for you to stop. And uh, Carter's like, whispers, how am I being... What did you say? Fat phobic? She's like, yes, fat phobic. You're being fat phobic because look at you. You're nice and muscular. You're nice and like fit or whatever. And dude, Carter in his head was like, hey, appreciate it, bro. Appreciate the compliment. I'll take that compliment. But she was not leveling it like a compliment. And she was like, so why do you work out, Carter? Is it because you don't want to be fat? You don't want to be out of shape? You don't want to be overweight? And Carter responds... Yes, 
Which I think the TikTok girl wasn't expecting him to even say that. But the truth is like, yeah, bro, like there's no, I, I would never shame anyone who's out of, like if you guys are a little overweight, dude, that's fine. Like you got to live your life. I, I mean, obviously you'll be feeling better if you're healthier, but I'm sure you already know that. I'm not really for shaming anyone. However, if someone does ask, is a benefit of working out, you'll feel better and be healthier and you won't be overweight? Um, yes. Is that a reason why you do it? Y yes. Like, bro, what? It's like, you it's like, why are you reading that book? To obtain knowledge or enjoy the story? Are you serious right now? It's like, you're like, dude, whatever. So Carter just said yes, because bro, yeah. I mean, he works out because he enjoys it, but also and working out isn't always super fun, bro. Like sometimes you got to do it because you know that like the end result is good. And the TikTok girl is like, <gasps> like literally freaking gasps, bro. And Carter knows at this point that he messed up because he's like, oh God, what did I say? And the TikTok girl's like, that is extremely fat phobic. Don't you remember they're middle of math class. So it's like, and then the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared is C's, whatever, right? So she's whispering like, D you, you're becoming, you go to the gym. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You go to the gym because you hate fat people. Why is, why is it so bad to be a fat person, Carter? And Carter's like, whispers back, there's nothing wrong with it. That's just not what I want. And she's like, why do you not want it? It's because you hate it. And you know what, Carter? I'm not going to allow any more fat phobic people like you to go around the school and not be called out. Expect the next few weeks to be a living hell, Carter. And she literally gets up and waddles, I mean, walks back to the back of the class, right? And Carter is just sitting there so stunned, so just shocked, bro. Like what, bro? Like, are you serious right now? Carter was literally just sitting there minding his own business, trying to pay attention to math class, which is already hard enough to pay attention in. And this girl walks up to him, says, hey, do you work out? He's like, yeah. And she's like, you're fat phobic and you're going to be canceled. And she says that this following week is going to be the worst week of his life. Like, bro. Yeah. So uh, Carter turns to his friend because the friend who's closest to him heard everything because it was like whispering, but it was like loud whispering, if you guys know what I mean, like kind of like whispering to the level I was for the story. I wanted you guys to hear it, but you don't say it in full voice, right? Because she was whisper yelling towards the end. And the friend that Carter turns to, we'll call him Ben, Ben's like, <laughs> Ben's like, oh, well, looks like you're gonna have a fun week. And Carter's like, bro, shut up. Like, I don't know what she's gonna do. Like that girl's crazy and you know it. And sure enough, that girl is crazy. Because uh, the next day they come back into school and Carter goes to his locker. And uh, I've explained this before, but some schools have lockers that are like, insert like they have a guy's locker room that is like only guys can enter it but other schools they just have their lockers like just down the like the hallway or whatever and this school was like that so anyone could theoretically access anyone else's lockers and sure enough the the, the tiktok girl had stayed late or just found a time when no one was looking and she wrote in permanent marker on uh carter's locker fat phobic cancel him now stay oh just like all this stuff all over his locker and the worst part about it is like he couldn't prove it was her because like immediately carter like pulls some faculty member he's like hey look at this i think i know who it is so carter's like yeah the faculty member's like okay tell me who it is carter immediately rats to the tiktok girl you guys might be like why is he snitching bro why would he not snitch? This person's annoying, bro. Like, I get it, not telling on your friends, but this is your, this is some rando who's trying to make your life miserable just because you worked out. Like, she wanted problems. She's going to get some, bro. That's all I'm trying to say right now. So sure enough, um, yeah, uh, the, the, the teacher looks at it. It's like, okay, I'm going to go talk to that girl. And you know what happens? The teacher talks to the girl. The girl says, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I think Carter's just blaming me because I'm overweight myself. That's offensive. And the teacher's like, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, like, you can control me. You can control the school. I'm so sorry. Like, don't cancel me on Facebook. I don't want the mom's Facebook page to be mad at me. Yeah, so Carter kind of knew going into it that, you know, this girl was going to get away with it. And the problem is the TikTok girl got away with this. And why is this a problem, you may be asking? Well, it's because it emboldened her to do something even crazier. And I'm going to give you a little hint of what that crazy thing is. She stalked Carter back from school to his home. Yes, you heard me correctly. The TikTok girl is so crazy 
that she stalked Carter back home. However, things end up a little differently for her than when she did it to his locker. But you'll just have to wait around and hear. So anyways, Carter, like, calls his friends over or calls the boys over, right? He's like, dude, like, this girl in class, this is so annoying. And one of his friends is, like, laughing hysterically, like, bro, like, this is gonna, like, you really got yourself into it. And Carter's like, dude, I didn't do anything. I just responded to her when she asked me a simple question. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Am I not supposed to be polite now? Yeah, stuff was written all over his locker. Locker. Secret word of the day is locker, so if you made it this far into the video, I'd love it if you could go down to the comment section and comment locker. I try and heart comments as much as I can, and I get a lot of comments, thank you. So what I do is sometimes I filter the comments by the secret word so I can really focus out to give hearts to those people. And by the way, if you like using Spotify, you can listen to these stories on Spotify. Pin comment down below. And if you're listening on Spotify, make sure to rate the podcast five stars. And also make sure to check the channel, the description of this video, as I have multiple channels, not just this one. I have one where I'm posting memes and also one where I collab with another YouTuber, Pegasus. You'll enjoy it. Let's get back to the stories, right? So anyways, uh, this kid is like, Carter, not this kid, sorry, Carter. Not this some kid, the subscriber. Carter is not very happy. He's already upset about this. He told the teacher, but they couldn't do anything because he didn't have any proof and the girl was accusing them of, oh my God, you're being fat phobic too. I'm gonna cancel you. And like, you know, school districts are like, oh my God, someone's upset with something we did. What if they go on Facebook and write about it? No. Yeah, so uh, Carter at this point feels a little powerless and he walks by the girl and the, the TikTok girl looks at him and starts laughing. She's cackling, bro. Just like the most evil Twitter person, TikTok girl moment of all time. She just walks by cackling and walks off, bro. And Carter's just standing there like, she knows what she's doing. She like chose me and it's pretty unfair, dude, because like Carter wasn't doing anything. He literally just was existing one day. And oh, that's a crime, by the way. If you're like a, a fit guy, oh, no, 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 no. That's a crime for existing, apparently. But, you know, speaking of crimes, TikTok girl was actually about to commit a crime. Yeah, isn't that fun? Um, yeah, doesn't like tick TikTok definitely doesn't obliterate your brain. And the only reason why you should be on TikTok is to follow my page where I repost my shorts. Yeah, other than that, don't be on TikTok. Anyways, though, so sure enough, my friends, sure enough, the end of the day comes and Carter feels defeated. He has a big assessment in a couple of days that he's not ready for. You know, this girl is going to make his life miserable. He had to spend all of his free period trying to like scribble out or scrub off. And it was permanent marker. So it was still kind of was there. So he ended up just like literally scribbling it out. And, and because of that, like he had this weird locker now that had all these like pen marks and paper on it. And it really did suck, man. It really did suck. And he thought his day couldn't get any worse. But the, the TikTok girl makes sure that she would make sure that it actually would get worse. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. I will ensure it gets worse. So sure enough, right? So sure enough. Um, he's walking back from school because Carter does not get picked up from school. Um, he walks back. He gets dropped off from school, but his mom doesn't get out to work till much later. So he just, it's like 20 minutes away. It's a really quick drive. So Carter's mom does that in the morning but she just asked him to walk back in the afternoon. So they get out at three and Carter starts walking back. And he thinks he sees someone following him on the other side. So basically he's walking down a sidewalk because it's kind of residential, pretty close to the school. It gets residential really quickly. And he's walking like down a sidewalk and he thinks he sees like some person with like a hoodie on. And it was really hot outside. Well, it was like, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which uh, I don't know, was that like, I, I can't do Celsius conversions. You can do that yourself if you're curious, but it was warm. It wasn't like sweating buckets, but it was pretty warm. And this person had a hoodie on to cover up their face, or he didn't know that. He just thought that they liked having a hoodie on, right? But it did happen to cover up his, their face and mask their appearance, which was actually quite intentional, but it, you know, he didn't know this at the time. So right, anyways, he's walking and it's weird because the masked person is standing on, is like following him basically, but it's not clear that they're following him because they're on the other side of the road. They always stay pretty far away. 
and they're 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 like I don't know a good amount behind him. They're not only on the they're not only just on the other sidewalk. They're also quite far behind him on the other sidewalk. So it's not super obvious that they're following him home yet. Yet is the key word here. So he's wa- but they always stay within range. They never fall out of range. Like he doesn't not see them. And eventually, he doesn't think anything of it. He just thinks it's weird, and it's something that he remembers, which is super important later on. But he goes back home, and he doesn't think much of it. But when he walks into his house, puts his backpack down, goes in the fridge, grabs something, he walks up to his bedroom. And his bedroom is like the window to his bedroom points outward, so he can see the street in front of him. And he goes up and he sits down at his desk and he freezes because he sees something strange out of the corner of his eye. When he turns his head, he looks out the window to see the person in the hoodie standing outside of his house, staring at it, just looking around. But they've stopped walking specifically outside of his house. So at this point, this is when uh, Carter realizes that something is really weird, something is really strange. And he goes out to look, and he just can't make the person out. He just cannot make them out. But you know what's really strange? Is instead of continuing to walk in the direction that they were walking, they look around a little bit longer, and then they turn to, ba- they turn to go walk back the way that they came. Why would they walk all of this way to simply turn around? It makes no sense unless they were following Carter to figure out where he lived. So Carter didn't jump to this crazy conclusion yet because it seems ridiculous. Why would someone want to follow Carter? And this person didn't seem like a big old man, seemed like a kid, right? It made no sense. It will make sense in a second because Carter, little weirded out, but once the person leaves, he kind of forgets about it and goes about his life, eats dinner, studies, I don't know, hops in Fortnite, does whatever he does. When he wakes up the next day, he wakes up to his mom looking really weird. And he's like, dude, what's going on? And his mom's like, like Carter, like, like there's graffiti on the house. And Carter's like, what? And she's like, did you do it? And he's like, no. And she's like, it doesn't make sense. Like, it wouldn't make sense for you to do it, but I had to ask because this is so weird. And Carter looks at her like, yeah, no, of course I wouldn't do that. Can I see it? And she's like, yeah, come with me. So they walk outside and they have a garage, which is like, on the side of their house, and the garage the, the garage has a garage door. So the garage door was down, and all across it says fat, phobic, like canceled, offense, like basically the stuff written on the locker. And at this point, Carter, instead of like being like, oh my God, what is this? He bursts out in a fit of rage. He explains everything to his mom, says that he has no proof, but this girl like explains everything that I explained to you. And his mom is like, oh, like I was about to show you this next. Well, it's funny that you know who it is now. And Carter's like, what? So yeah, they have a security camera, like one of those like ring cameras that Amazon has that goes off and records whenever there's movement. So yeah, she literally shows him on her iPad a clear as day video of this girl coming over and spray painting this onto his house. Yeah, this time she didn't wear a hoodie to guide her, to hide herself because I don't know, she it was like nighttime, but you know, the ring ca- there must have been enough light around for it to be very clear. And the ring cameras pick up stuff really well. So Carter's like, "Yes, I finally have proof. Like I tried to tell the teachers before and since I didn't have proof, she said that they were being fat phobic and that they were being offensive and they crumbled, but now they can't crumble." The question is, can they still crumble? We'll have to figure that out. So sure enough, Um, At this point, uh, Carter's mom sends together an email to the school administration, attaches the video file, attaches a photo of the graffiti, attaches like a very clear screenshot of like this girl, says her first and last name, says the prior incidents and says everything. Perfect, right? They wait for a response. It's a very, very long time. And at this point, Carter's kind of like pacing around because it's Saturday today. The last of the day before is Friday, so he's not in school but he's pacing around, he goes upstairs to play some video games, but he's just trying to distract himself because this is a very tense period of time because he doesn't, first of all, it could be days, it could be until Monday that they log in and see this. However, the principal must be logged in on their phone and check it through like impulse sometimes because the principal saw this and so his mom is like, Carter, Carter, we got a response. So Carter immediately drops everything he's doing and runs downstairs. 
And Carter's mom opens up the email and it reads as the following. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We have decided to start an active investigation into the situation. Don't worry, your son will be like protected throughout. It is most likely that the girl involved, says her first and last name, will receive some kind of internal suspension and if we deem necessary, expulsion. 